Hey guys, RC here. Well, we're going to restart. We're still in the early days of Starter's Order 7, so we're going to restart the save. And here's why. If you watched the last episode or two, you saw that I was experiencing the technical difficulties for whatever reason. And it's only with the save game in that third slot for this save that we were doing. So... Sure enough, I went in to record the next episode. Game kept crashing to de desktop. I had to go to the backup file, got it to load, recorded an episode, saved the game, got out, and came back in just now to record the next episode. And it's been about an hour since I last recorded. And it's crashing again. So basically, 100% crash to desktop unless we go back to the to the backup save. And the first two saves, my, my solo saves, are working perfectly fine. So I'm agitated. So if it comes across in the video, it's not you guys. I'm just <laughs> agitated. So what I've done is I have started a new save. And it loaded the first time I tried it. I just came in, hit load, and there we go. So we're going to start all over again. We, we do lose a few episodes. We do start from square one. But life's a bitch, and then you die, and you or you move on. One of the two. So as you can see, we're still playing without the start it mod. We're going to go there. I am I am so agitated. Nothing infuriates me more than a game not working. All right, we're gonna go with RC's RC Racing Stables. I've got 340, so we're going to go ahead and buy the breeder barn while I'm in here. We will get out of that, and then we will come in and we will sell all or most of these. Yeah, I think we just go ahead and sell. A lot of these will just, yeah, that one's definitely gone. So, based on the feedback from you guys in the first couple of episodes that we tried to get started, uh, it was, hey, don't worry about, you know, going into all these. Basically, what I'm, what I think we're gonna do is when I buy, when I go to auction off camera, when I sell off camera, and then we'll evaluate the horses that I keep. And if there's a horse that I'm not sure about, I may show that one just to get some feedback from you guys. So this one has good consistency, good constitution, but nothing in the speed. So I think we're going to go ahead and sell Foxtrot Romeo. So normally we wouldn't see this, but since it's the beginning, there's really nothing else to watch. Yeah, that one we're going to get rid of. And I am just, and I apologize. I apologize. I am, I mean, I guess I could keep going to the backup save, but I mean, if I get to a point, like the first time we did that, I actually lost weeks, you know, or days. And, you know, we repeated races and stuff. So that doesn't do us any good doesn't do us any good so i'm really aggravated agitated by that let's go ahead and uh sell these horses boom so there's our sales we picked up uh yeah some nice money from three of them one of them was uh, a waste of space so if we look at sales we're going to want to go into the yearlings at march 1st and so what i'm going to do is we're going to blow through this year I'm going to hit the yearling sales. We're going to get to the year end. We'll come back. We will sell any of the then two-year-olds. And then we'll look at some horses that we may or may not keep. And we'll go from there. 
because you know we're not going to have a lot of money here so i'm, I'm going to have to you know do this several times so uh anyway we'll see you guys back here when i have something to show you all right well i've gotten to the first of the following year so we have made a little bit of headway so real quick let's take a look at what i've done i have bought 11 breeding mares we bred them with the cheapest fees that we could find which were you know four thousand or less forty six hundred or less so a little more for breeding this year so we'll have to see how much money we generate from sales so as i said moving forward we're probably going to scale back but since this is our first crop uh, we do have seven yearlings these are the horses that were bred to our bargain basement mares uh, we are not going to worry about them uh, because those will all be sold. We are going to hold on to them till next year, uh, at which point they will be two-year-olds and we can maximize our profits. If we look at our racing stable, these are the yearlings that we bought last year. So let's see if any of them are worth a darn and if we're going to race them or if we're going to just sell them off. And normally I won't do this, but because it's our first year and maybe next year I'll do it, just depends on, you know, how, you know, until we get a stable of horses that we've got that we can look at. Uh, so I don't like the speed here. It does have extra speed, enthusiasm, finish, consistency. Cruising burst is higher than normal, and it does have a little extra speed. The Constitution isn't horrible because all that affects is how often you can race. Now the potential is pretty low. It's below 25 right now, but it does have the chance to get up to around 70 maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Do we keep that one? I kind of like some of the other ratings. Let's hold on to it for now. Party doctor. I don't see any potential there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. And these are two-year-olds, so these are where we're going to make our money. Exceedingly bold, I think, is going to be in the same boat. It does have really good extra speed. Enthusiasm's on the low side, and potential is as well. So we're going to auction that one off. Sin time. Hello. Not much in the way of speed. Potential 60%. Extra speed has a little bit. Consistency, but I don't think that's good enough. You know, I mean, again, we're just thinking about maybe keeping a, a horse just to have one to race. So we'll auction this one off. Polish Sprite. I think that one's going to be out of here. Actually, a lot of the bars I, I really like, but it doesn't have the potential. So we're going to we're going to auction that one off. H or H. Not much in the way of speed. Does have pretty solid extra speed, enthusiasm. I, now I like the bars. No potential, though. Mm. I think we're going to go ahead and auction that off. That one may get us a little bit of money. Cavalero. Yeah, we'll auction that one off as well. All right, let's go back and look at Magic. So it's going to be a six to seven furlong horse for now, but it is bred for a mile two, potentially. It doesn't have a lot of speed, but it does have really good extra speed. You know, I think because it's missing speed here, I think you almost, I think we need that. I'm going to go ahead and auction them all off. We'll just auction them all off raise some money, hit the yearlings again, pay for the breeding for another crop, and then we'll have not just whatever yearlings we buy, but we'll have the 11 uh, 
yearlings that we currently have from breeding, which aren't going to be good, but they should all bring in, you know, $2 million a piece, right? So let's go ahead and auction them all off. And that gives us a million five, which isn't bad. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. It'll probably be another year. So I'll see you guys in a year momentarily. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. Fred's in the picture. Say hi, Fred. Um, I, I've warned you guys, you get what you get. <laughs> you know, this is real life recording. So, all right. So we've gone through another year. We're January 1st, 2023. Uh, one of the comments that was made early in the aborted series that we uh, just ended is uh, not gambling. So I am not gambling at all. Uh, and especially not gambling on the legends because that makes it too easy to make money. I will note Secretariat lost two of eight races and they were the Kentucky and the Preakness so, and did not run in the Belmont. So those are the races that I likely would have bet heavy and I would have lost my butt. So we would have been in the same boat we're in now. You can see we're $44,000 in the hole. Uh, we do have the 11 broodmares. Uh, we now have the 11 new yearlings that came over uh, from the breeding last year. And we have 14 uh, year, uh, two year olds in our racing stable. We had the 11 that we fold uh, from last year, and then the additional horses that we were able to buy this year, which was not a lot. So let's jump into this and take a look at these guys. Yeah, he doesn't look good. Indian Charlie. I like the name. Mm, and there's nothing there to like, though, unfortunately. Not that I saw. Which, of course, as you know, means absolutely nothing. Van Dozberg. Interesting name. Now, I do like... It's got real good extra speed. It's got high enthusiasm. This can maybe be a low-end horse, maybe like a handicap horse, possibly. Let's hold on to that one for just a minute and see if we see anything else of interest. The speed on that one was real bad, no extra speed. So we're gonna auction that one off. Atlantic Sport, very, very low speed. I don't see much in the way of potential. So we will just try to make some money out of this. Quiver Tree, same thing, I am afraid. Well, let's see. Well, no, the potential's right below 50%. Extra speed is almost, is it 70? I don't like the enthusiasm. Don't like the enthusiasm and it's laid back. So, yep, let's get rid of that one. Glacial Storm, again, very low speed, low potential. So, we will auction that one off. Uh, Jajindiab, that's an interesting name. No potential at all. CB. Very little speed. High confidence, that's good. Extra speed rating, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say no. What we'd like to do is sell enough that we can start getting into the $200,000, $300,000 yearlings at auction. Oh, sounds like my granddaughter's awake. Uh, let's see, no speed on that one. Ram Rob Bob. No potential. Marin Flore. Speed is middle of the road, but it does have a lot of extra speed. Very low enthusiasm, though. Ugh. I'm going to say no to that. Low enthusiasm, I think I get too much of the laid back and uh, not running hard. Not running hard. All right, so this has higher enthusiasm, not great. 
Nothing really to hang my hat on, I don't think. Peggy's Delight. Yeah, don't see anything there. All right, so one horse out of the bunch. Who was that? Van Dozberg. Now, Fly by White. Let's check our breeding barn. Is that one of ours? It is not. So this is one that we bought at auction. I would have known right away if it was one that, that we bred, it was probably going to be below average at best. So we've got... Stam can go up. It's got, you know, over 50 speed. It's got over 50 potential possibly. So that might be a... That might get pushed up to 60. It does have solid extra speed, good enthusiasm. I'm going to keep this one. Just, you know, I mean, it cost us about two to three million dollars, but, you know, it because by keeping it and not selling it. So let's see what we can sell for here. All right. Then, then we need to go to our stable. And we need swimming pool, all weather, training stalls, gardeners are cheap, quarantine building, gallop rails. I already have a horse trailer. So we're looking at 543,000 to upgrade. We're not going to go field yet. I guess we could go... Another 400,000, get some of the office buildings. That may work. That way we can start training him. And also we need, we need to hire paddock help. And we will need to go in and hire a jockey. All right, so let's take a look here. Montolvo, I like Turan, or Tunan. I don't need him to be super honest. I just need skill. So you know what? We're going to hire La Rosa. And then over on this side, these guys are already retained. All right, there's very good skill and honesty. And you know what? I don't do jockey orders, which that may be a bad thing. So let's go ahead and retain Rosario. I like that. And let's take a look at... Let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. All right, well, one day, our head lad, a little short of work. Now he should he should fill out quickly. So I'm thinking we can go in and schedule him a race pretty quickly. Sorry guys, but that's is what it is. Uh, five to six furlongs. Let's start at six. And we can go. Class 4 Maiden, Risk of Showers, Risk of Showers. What kind of course likes a good track? So we're going to, we're going to stay away from that one. Um, where did it tell me? Oh, forecast rain, forecast risk of showers. So uh, he's not going to be ready to run tomorrow. So let's look farther down the line. How about right here in Florida? Maybe. Let's go ahead and enter him there. It's 900 miles. And we are also going to be looking for yearling sales. And I need to go breed these guys real quick. Uh, broodmares. 
Let's take a look at the fees. All right, we've only got one horse that's under 10,000. I'm not going to be very... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to look to get any of these guys. Well, maybe... Maybe with some of these plus plus 50s. Maybe. And then here we'll start. We'll, we'll just go with uh, uh, in, in Ishiguru. Ishiguru. That'll be our, our go-to horse here. Under 100,000. Actually, you know what? We can actually afford. I think we can afford up to 50 maybe. That one's 46. So again, as we get deeper into this save, assuming it doesn't keep glitching out on us and aggravating the hell out of me, uh, we can... Uh... All right, that's all we're going to go with there. All right, so let's go racing stable. That's on January 10th. So let's go ahead and get there. Get there. Take a look at the brood mares. And yeah, we're gonna and we're just gonna breed them to the four cheapest ones. Right there. And out of here. And go to the track. Now a lot of times, as we get more and more horses, we'll probably skip maidens just to get a result. But we will uh, take a look and see how we do with just one horse. So we're not uh, we're not expected to do well, nine to one. But let's take a quick gander, and it did rain. Ouch! So we're starting middle of the pack. Blue silks with the yellow hat. We are on a quick race, so we go inside. We're with the leaders, so we're running as a front runner, it looks like. Five furlongs. We're keeping pace with the leaders. A definitive group of four. And we got about two and a half furlongs left. Number seven is Lady Melbourne. She's starting to come. We're sitting there in fourth. And we start to make a push a little bit. Oh, here comes number three. That is Angel Run on the outside. One furlong to go. Do we have anything here? Show me something. Angel Run is coming on strong. Looks like we're not having any push whatsoever. It's hard to tell. That could be track related because uh, it did say it likes a good track and the rain set in. I don't know. All right, that's disappointing. Let's take a look at the form book. Stayed on Ran Green. Okay, so Ran Green is a good indicator. Ridden as a stalker, ran very green, trip suited perfectly. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get out of here. Already won 572 bucks. Woo! We're rich. We're rich. All right. Let's see if we want to go six again. We want to go probably a couple of weeks out at least. There's Selma. Here we go. Saratoga Springs. We've got three races. Let's go into the one with the fewest horses. There's no ratings or anything, so it's hard to tell. We're going to be in there in the mix. So let's go ahead and get to that race on the 24th. All right, race day. Let's get up to our race. And we are actually favored in this one. You know, I'm tempted if we're favored to put a max bet. Um, oh, there we go. Let's put a max win. 
I'm not going to bet on other races or, or legends, but I may bet on my horses. All right, we're favored in this one, so that's good. And we are, looks like middle of the pack here, and we broke slow. Definitely with the second tier. Looks like we recovered well. Stalking the number three horse, Charnwood Forest. And we move to the outside of her. Five furlongs. We're definitely in the breakaway pack. That could be troubling. Those guys may have some speed and stuff behind us. All right, two and a half furlongs. We've moved up and then drifted back a little bit. Charmwood Forest at the two furlong pole, still out in front. Conjura Bluff is making a run. We have not made the move yet. Do we have anything? I still don't know if we have a kick or not. All right, he just gave it the whip. Seven-tenths of a fur mile to go. We're making a run into second. I don't think we've got enough to catch him. And that puts us into a second-place finish. I mean, it's better, but I still didn't see any speed. I didn't see any of the speed that I was hoping that we would see. All right, uh, form book tells us nothing extra. Prominent early, prominent halfway, and we finish three lengths back. That's tough. All right, ridden in the pack, suited, got the distance well. Horse loved the ground. And we made a little bit more money, but we still haven't won. So we've moved up to second position. All right, let's check our... All right, a little jaded, so he'll he'll be fine here in the near future. We're still looking for that first maiden win. Both of those were six furlongs. Let's look at a five, possibly. Uh, let's see. So we've got a maiden here with seven horses. The problem is we're going in with two races under our belt, and none of these horses have won, have run a race yet. A late declaration penalty. Well, we don't want that. I don't want to throw money away. Hundred and twenty-eight miles. Let's go ahead and enter here. We do have an eighty-two rating, so I mean we're off to a Pretty reasonable start, I would guess. Uh, January 25th, and I do want to be back for March 1st. And we're nearing the end of this episode. I would like to get a maiden win before we take off. So February 7th. Oh, the worst thing was we were actually favorites in that, right? So we lost that $40,000 bet. And we are favorites here as well. Pretty substantial favorites, it appears. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put another max bet here. Maybe near the side. All right, well, let's go race and hopefully pull a victory finally. No rain, so this will be his first, like, really good track. He got a good break. He goes out to the early lead. Is he going to try to get over? It's Lamboro Lad that's cutting him off from getting too far inside. But he does drift over. The first four horses there do drift a little bit. All right, let's pick it up a little bit. All right, two and a half furlongs to go. We take the lead by a length. Classical Mist is running with us at the two furlong, and it's the number six horse in blue making a charge, as well as Reginer, Reginer making a run behind us. We're at the furlong pole. Can we hold him off? He's on our haunches, and he is powering past us, and we're not showing any speed burst whatsoever. We get blitzed by length. All right, I'm a little I'm a little troubled by that. So the shorter distance, I don't think going 
any shorter would have done any good there. Disputed lead halfway led to the inside final half furlong. No extra. Okay, so ow. Stalker suited, trip suited. So we're we're in the right neighborhood with the five to six race uh furlongs. Ah oh, boy. I don't know what to do here. It's it's the fact that he's his potential's coming up near 50%. He's got that extra speed. Just he's not he's not giving us anything. I'm not seeing any burst from him, any 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 run at all. Uh, let's see. We're we're gonna be looking. Let's go back to a six furlong. Let's find our late. There it is, right there. They ought to make that a different color. You think that'd be a good idea? Something you know stands out a little bit more, or maybe have it like in the middle. That might be a good thing. All right, so we're back to the six. Back-to-back -back second place finishes. Um, February 8th. Let's come back somewhere right around the end of the month. Ocean Port's 80 miles away. These horses have all raced. So two runner-ups a tenth so at least this is a crowd similar to what we're dealing with we don't have any horses that we don't know anything about and we'll come back for this race next episode cliffhanger got to get that first win man all right my apologies again for the game not loading up and the glitch in the game itself hopefully we don't have that issue moving forward what I am going to do is I'm going to, in fact, let's do it right now. We're going to save at this point. And uh, I will try to load it back up here in a second. So next episode, I'll let you know how that goes. And we'll see if Van Doesburg can get a victory. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And I look forward to hearing what you guys think. Take care. Bye.